The Gospel for Friday in the octave of Easter is taken from John 21st chapter, 1st through the 14th verse. Jesus revealed himself again to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. Together with Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, Zebedee's sons, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I'm going fishing. They said to him, We also will come with you. So they went out and got into the boat. But that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore, but the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you caught anything to eat? They answered, No. He said to them, Cast the net over the right side of the boat, and you will find something. So they cast it, and were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish. So the disciple, whom Jesus loved, said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked in his garments, for he was lightly clad, and jumped into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, for they were not far from shore, only about a hundred yards, dragging the net with fish. When they climbed out on the shore, they saw a charcoal fire with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you just caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore, full of 153 fish. Even though they were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come have breakfast. And none of his disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them, and in like manner the fish. This was now the third time Jesus revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. These stories are all about Jesus revealing himself to his disciples, his followers, those who knew his teaching. And it's clear what he's calling them to is to continue the work that he established. And it's like gathering all people together and making the community one by believing in this one beautiful revelation that Jesus is sharing with his people. But what I love about this story is that in the work of doing that, and it's our work, all of us, he wants to be the source of what we can accomplish by feeding us. Come, eat breakfast. Come, eat with me. Come, let me nurture you. It's a beautiful image of church. It's a beautiful image of who we are in God. And it gives us great hope as we continue to try to establish his kingdom, the kingdom of heaven here and now.
it's clear that from the beginning, Jesus intended that his church grow and change and enter into every heart and every mind and animate their actions. When he asks that of us, we must understand that he is also telling us that he will nurture us, he will feed us, he will cook for us and give us the energy, the insight, and the wisdom that we need to accomplish his work through us, through our humanity. And we ask this in Jesus' name, amen.